Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to show you how to change firmware on your Arduino board. First of all you need to connect your Arduino with your laptop and we are showing you how to change a firmware to run Bandbox. So you click on this button almost on the right uh, like a, a lightning bolt. Okay, we select a port uh, and we change the name of firmware. So uh, we, we take uh, Nano 328PI. So we use this to change a firmware. And here we select the file uh, for uploading firmware. So usually it goes with a band box. We need to find our key directory. So we go it here. Okay, then here uh, it, it's called it called ROMs. Okay, and we there are a lot of multiple variants. So we need to find our uh, Nano three to eight. Okay, and now we upload it. We we have it here and check button. Okay, so now we can change the firmware of our. Arduino using flash machine. Okay, and you see the Arduino is actually flickering with a green light. So it means that uh, we changed our firmware. And you see this little symbol ch shows that it's okay. Okay, now we see that it's disconnected we can connect it and it seems like uh, you can use your bandbox with this firmware okay so we showed you how to do this exercise next explanation is how to change a firmware using uh, and, and run grbl you need we need a software called xloader so we run xloader here okay and we use COM16 and a bitrate 57k. Okay, uh, and the same our Arduino, uh, we use Nano, right? Uh, 3 to 8. Okay, we have it here, and we select the name of the sketch. Okay, we are ready to run JRBL. Okay, and we upload it. Arduino starts flickering with a green light. It means that new firmware is being uploaded. When when it's done, it will show you. Okay. Now it says that uh, 30, 28 kilobytes was uploaded so and the last exercise that we're going to make yeah we you can actually use JRBL laser software and check it out uh, and do different uh, options so now you can connect it directly you see it sees uh, the port and now you're almost almost ready to go okay we've done that we've done that and the final thing we're going to show you how to change a firmware for your Elix Maker Cam. So uh, you need a software called uh, Elix ROM version uh, 3.8. Okay, let's open it. Okay. Yeah, it's very important that you have an internet while you do this. It doesn't work without it. Okay, now you uh, select uh, your machine, you select the port, it's a COM16, the same port as we used before, and we use um, we choose Alex uh, laser serial port. Okay. So yes, okay, we connect it. And uh, download Alex Maker 
firmware so it doesn't allow us to copy it and now it's uploading it directly to your Arduino board so this is a final example so please uh, make sure that uh, you have this firmware and you may download them on endurancelasers.com uh, website or also endurancerobots.com uh, go to download center and yeah you see it's it's uh, showing the progress and keep in mind that uh, you don't you cannot change firmware for your CNCC laser X software so uh, it doesn't actually work that way so you can change your firmware for any of these uh, engraving solutions but not for CNCC laser X okay uh, let's click